Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm in a different room today. I'm back in my old bedroom, so excuse the mess of the background. Today I thought I would do a review of the new Zoella Beauty range, which is called Jelly and Gelato. I wasn't able to get all of the range, but I have a few of the items here that I thought would just be nice to do an unboxing and first impressions video for you of the items that I have. The first one I picked up was the shower sauce and that is what this looks like. I'm absolutely loving the packaging that she has gone for this time. It's a really really nice style of packaging. So it's a peel pink coloured shower gel. It says lather up this deliciously scented shower sauce, drizzle and massage into wet skin, rinse thoroughly for a squeaky clean finish. So we'll see what this smells like. I haven't I haven't even opened these. I'll have the, the seals on them. Oh, that smells really nice. I can't put my finger on what it smells like. It kind of smells a little bit florally. Could be wrong. I have no idea what it smells. Like, I'm really bad at trying to guess what a smell is. It does smell kind of florally. Very sweet, but not sickly sweet. I, I like this. I think that would be really nice. And it's in a nice size of bottle. I just think this, this is really nice. I'm really pleased with this. It smells really nice and I'm sure it will lather really nice as well. So that was the first item I picked up. The second item I picked up was the bath frosting, bath milk powder. No idea what this is. It intrigues me which is why I bought it so that is what it looks like. It comes in like a pub thing. Don't really know how to describe this. We'll see. I have no idea what sort of product this is so I don't know what to expect but we will open it and see what is inside. I'm really struggling to open. Okay. Oh, okay. So inside you get lots of sachets. So what does this say? Take a dip with this moisturizing bath frosting. Enrich with extracts of elderflower and pomegranate. Oh, that'll smell amazing to help soften, brighten and tone. Empty one sachet under warm running water and swirl until the water turns milky white. Ah, oh, so it's like milk for the bath, but it comes in little individual sachets. So you get one, two, you get four sachets and they're pretty big sachets. So I'm assuming the shower gel also smells of elderflower and pomegranate. Um, I'm assuming that's what the scent is this year. So, this I'm very intrigued to try. I think this is just really cute. And I love I love the box that it comes in. You could definitely reuse this because it's got a little metal case on the top of it. And I just think that is super cool. It's very new, like she's never done anything like this before. So I really like that. Next up, I picked up the creamy scrub, the body scrub. And let's see what this says. Serve your skin a treat. This indulgent mix of polishing sprinkles and rich cream is infused with elderflower and pomegranate to help brighten, soothe and tone, smooth and tone. Massage onto wet skin, then rinse thoroughly for a super soft finish. So that is what the body scrub is like. I love a good body scrub and sometimes I can find it hard to find one I really like. I absolutely love the, the Soap and Glory Scrub Me or so, something like that. Let's see what this is like. So they're all, they all come with individual or they all come with seals on them, which I love. Um, I think it's, it's really hygienic and it's also really nice knowing that nobody else has opened it before. Oh, these are tough. It's on there good and tight. Oh. This looks interesting. So I was expecting like a cream style that you know you just sort of just screw it up and lather on but this is what it looks like on the inside. It's kind of it's like a balm almost. That's how I would describe it. So yeah it's like a balm. Oh that smells so good. Oh that is very nice. The scent this time is so nice. It's not sweet. 
it's not sickly it smells expensive that's probably the best way i can describe it, it smells expensive like these products are less than eight pounds each which i think is great it's, i'm very happy with and i'm surprised that it's not a typical body scrub like it's more of a balm style but it definitely i'm sitting rubbing it between my fingers there is something in there that obviously scrubs it i'm not sure what exactly very excited to use this see what it's like so the final thing i picked up was this scent that is out for this year so this is what the bottle looks like so this is the big bottle all the rest of the scents i have are in the small bottles which i really like because they're handy to carry in your bag this is just the big one I nearly dropped it so we've got a gold colored lid on it there's nothing on the back of it so it's just plain white on the back but it's very in keeping with the rest of the theme it's very nice i'm still in the smells of pomegranate and elderflower i just spread it on my hand i missed the lid <laughs> oh that's nice it's very light very summery not too heavy i'm up and smelling the palm of my hand because that's where i spread it that's really nice. Slightly different scented to the rest of the range. I'm assuming just because it's in a liquid sort of perfume formula rather than a shower gel or a body scrub. But it does, it smells really, really nice. It is very light, very fresh, very summery because of the fruits and the elf flower in it. So it is definitely perfect for summertime. So there are a few other bits and pieces that are in the range that I wasn't able to get my hands on. Pricing of them, good. Like, I don't think... If they were any more expensive, I probably wouldn't have bought them. They were all under eight pounds. I think the perfume or the body spray was, body mist was the most expensive. I think it was eight pounds. So all the products I think are less than eight pounds, which is which is good. And I love the packaging. I think the, the theme that they've gone for is, is really, really nice. It's very subtle. Yeah, I just, I think it just all works really, really nicely together. I like the sort of jelly and gelato um, theme kind of going on, but it hasn't got jelly and gelato sort of covered all around it it's very mature very young adult thing going on and i'm very intrigued to try this this is new i don't think i've ever seen anything like this before so definitely definitely excited to try that let me know if you have any of the products and what you think of them leave a comment in the comment section below i will leave a link to everything that i can in the description bar and make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already upload a video a week and give the video a thumbs up and see you next time bye